Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of Dr. Cassette's Workshop. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace the hard disk drive in your Asus EPC Model 1000H with an SSD. In the picture, you can hopefully see all the things that we are going to need. I think I got them all. We'll need screwdrivers, small sizes, obviously. We'll need the EPC and an SSD. This is a SanDisk 64GB SSD that I got in a local tech store. Special offer, 49 euro. I guess you can't complain about that. So, let's go ahead and let's get started. And I'm going to start by removing the battery out of the EPC uh, for some added safety. We don't want to accidentally power this thing up whenever we don't want to. Now, uh, next of all, matching screwdriver, and we're going to take this door right there, we're going to take that off, and uh, I guess that one fits, so uh, it's one of those uh, weird screwdriver sets, as you can clearly tell. Right, that's one, that's two, and I guess that's it. Yep, that's it. That was easy. Here we have the hard disk drive right there. It's a classic mechanical hard disk drive. This one's made by Seagate and it's a 160 gigabyte type. So uh, let's uh, see. Okay, there are some more screws holding that in place. So can't remove it right now. But uh, there is one screw. Don't lose them. If you lose them, your hard drive is going to fall out all the time, which is not good. Okay, now we can slide it to that direction to get it out. And there it is. And uh, don't forget to uh, store all your data to another drive before you do so, because otherwise you won't be able to access this anymore which uh, I'd imagine is going to be rather annoying. Okay, now as you can see, the hard disk drive is sitting in this uh, kind of uh, caddy thing, so uh, we need to uh, unscrew that. And uh, uh, that's, that's going to require another screwdriver. I already changed the bit once, but it doesn't fit. Let's try this one. Okay, here we go. Remove the four screws of the hard disk drive. And that is screw number four. So now we can take this out, take this apart, and we're going to put the original HDD to the side and uh, treat it very carefully. And uh, now we can go ahead and unbox the SSD, which I already prepared. And there it is, and uh, as you can see, it's the same basic thing. It's a two and a half inch SSD. And uh, okay, that's how you take that apart. And get that opened. And there it is plastic housing. I guess that doesn't matter, but uh, there it is, and important thing, you need a standard SATA drive, SATA connectors, as you can see the two are looking the same connection-wise. This one has a little jumper setting, but I don't think that's going to matter, but uh, there they are, and uh, now we can go ahead and mount this into the caddy, and uh, since I didn't pay enough attention, I'll first have to figure out, okay, that's the right direction. <laughs> yeah, okay, and I uh, guess we gotta do it that way around. I think I now got it right, so uh, <laughs> gonna mount that, put the four screws back into their, uh, back into their places. And there is the first one. Screw that in.
Right, and screw number four is back in its place. So now we can uh, go ahead and hopefully get this thing back into its place. Okay, slides right in. So that's pretty good. And as you can see, as soon as you're now opening that door, you're going to see SanDisk Solid State Drive. Uh, that's looking good. Anyway, changed a bit so we can get the other two screws back into their places. And, uh, okay, that's not the right one. <laughs> ah, you gotta love these things. Okay, and uh, since we haven't changed anything else that we need to reset, we can just put that door on again. Clips in place. One screw and the second screw. And that's it pretty much. So now we can put our battery back in place and uh, see if the whole thing is still going to power up. And there it is. We got the fully charged battery back in its place, so it should power right up. So Let's try that out. Press the button, and it's quiet. I can tell you that much. It's very quiet. There goes the screen, right there. And it's now, of course, complaining because there is nothing to boot from on the SSD yet. So I'm going to turn that off again and turn it back on. Okay. And we're going to enter the BIOS. Okay, and there is the BIOS. And if I now go ahead, Advanced, IDE Configuration, there it is. Primary IDE Master, the SanDisk SD SSD P064G. So it did detect the thing. Apparently it did detect the thing properly, so that's pretty good. So I can now go ahead and put the operation system on there, which is going to be the original Windows XP. And there it goes, restoring the system image from the disk that came with the laptop. Making good progress, as you can clearly see, and it doesn't seem to complain. Of course, uh, we replaced a 160 gigabyte HDD with a 64 gigabyte SSD, so that's quite a bit smaller. Doesn't matter, this is not my main computer, so I don't need all that storage space. Now, the reason why I replaced the HDD in this thing um, is not so much because of the speed. Of course, an SSD is a lot faster than a HDD, but uh, I did it because I wanted to uh, get rid of the HDD noise. Of course, an HDD can be quite noisy. And uh, also, I wanted to extend the battery life, which uh, it probably did. From, uh, from what I read in the internet, you can extend your battery life by at least 30 minutes by replacing the HDD with an SSD. And since I don't want to buy one of those super huge batteries that uh, sticks out in the back and looks rather ugly, um, this, is, uh, this is the way I decided to go. The install process finished successfully, and since after all, the speed is amazing, I'm just going to turn this thing on. We're going to see how fast it boots up. Yes, uh, this thing, <laughs> this thing's really flying through the startup process. There goes Windows XP. And that's that. Bam! That's it. <laughs> I guess that's pretty cool. That's pretty fast. So, right. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.